My primary focus of interest has been echocardiography in its various forms. We all started with uh, two-dimensional, went on to have a color Doppler echo, then have the addition of transesophageal echo, then the intraoperative echo, tele echo, fetal echo, and then uh, the latest additions being uh, tissue Doppler echo and also the three-dimensional echo. We are quite passionate about uh, echocardiography because it involves the patient right from the time of diagnosis, then the evaluation during the treatment, either medical or surgical, intraoperatively at times, then uh, we can actually monitor the patients who are at a distance by using teleechocardiography. So all these parameters, since it uh, involves the entire care of the patient, I have been passionately following this technique. Even today, I do probably about 15 to 20 echoes myself, personally. And uh, the total number might have crossed even one lakh number of echoes. That includes all these varieties of echoes. And uh, my most of my experience has been on GE machines right from the wingmed when they started in 1990s. And then went on with all the upgradation of their instruments. We are used to that colors, especially the turbulence depicted in green color immediately catches the eye. And that's how we continued with those machines even until this day. The one more area of interest for me has been to evaluate the coronary arteries by echocardiography. Because as soon as you finish an echocardiogram for a patient, he just sits up and asks, are there any blocks in my heart? And invariably we used to say, this technique cannot uh, tell you about any blockages. You have to go for an angiogram. Since then, I have been uh, trying to see whether we can really make out a coronary artery blocks by echo. Then uh, we really made some inroads into this, especially the left main coronary artery blockage. We can now confidently diagnose by transthoracic echo, and we published it way back in 2008. So that has been one of the uh, advances we made. Another thing we made was to look at the open coronary artery after an acute heart attack. This also we studied in intensive coronary care unit by transthoracic echo, and that also we published. So right from the fetal echo, neonatal echo, children, congenital heart disease, then adults echoes in various forms like uh, transthoracic, transesophageal, intraoperative, and the later techniques like tissue Doppler. I have been quite passionate following this echo in its uh, various forms. And uh, I would again stress my most of my experience has been on these GE machines. I was quite happy about this. And uh, I wish that uh, more persons should be passionate about ECHO rather than everybody queuing up for interventions because the entire management, the diagnosis, follow-up, everything involves echocardiography. Let's work towards a healthier India.